That's why I was standing over here for. I had quite a few questions about these bolsters on this uh, trailer that I got on there. Uh, what they are, how I attach them, all that stuff like that. I actually filmed a full video or thought I filmed a full video of the whole deal. And when uh, I guess the camera, uh, something happened. I did not have the uh, footage on there. So about we're... to take them off the trailer. And what these are, these are three by three tubing, quarter inch thick, five feet tall. That's all you need. You don't need them any taller than that. Uh, take the chain. It's one chain that goes across. Take the chain, run it through there, around, through the, the loop or stake pocket, whichever one you got. The biggest thing you need to hook it as tight as you can and pull it to where the hook is as tight that way same thing on that side pull it to where the hooks is tight this way throw a uh, binder in between it and ratchet it down and it's there it is good to go it is not going to move with you uh, going in the road now each time you unload you're going to have to kind of snug them back up it's pretty snug but um what happened is Especially if you have this hook back here, this thing will kind of rotate around and it's still going to move just a little bit between the loads. So you need to check that and do that. These stands here are just kind of like kick stands on the bottom of them. But they, they work very well, very quick to throw on there. Like I said, I'm about to take them off. Just undo the uh, binder, unhook it. And I take the machine, the mini, and just bite them on that on that post right there pick them up and set them off and get them in and stand them up lay them down whatever i jump up there on the trailer and i move them around anywhere i want to you know lay them down sometimes i haul them on the trailer with the mini i just slide them up there at the front lay them over sideways throw a strap over them strap them down put the mini back here and then when i get where i'm going i just flip them up slide them back uh put them down so you can put them anywhere on the trailer that you know that you choose to put them and i always put them kind of over the axles that's what i want you know toting the weight right there and then that way i can put some tens and twelves up here on the front if you know if i want to like what you just seen in the video and do that and um, it works works very very well so it's a good safe easy conversion and i'm going to build some more similar to this except they're only going to probably be about this high maybe two foot or something like that just in set you know up here to catch those those front logs if i lay anything up there where i don't have to worry about them you know rolling around or anything like that very dangerous uh you know hauling like you see me hauling those logs up here especially when you go to unbind if you choose to do that be really really careful had a guy i met a couple of different times talked to him a good bit on the phone through text and what have you over there toward uh the athens georgia area over there in that area uh he actually got killed uh hadn't been quite two years ago it was in uh summer of 21 uh i believe it was july he does a lot of what i did did uh land work you know, a lot of mulching things and came home with a load of logs on a on a trailer just like mine and went to unbind it when he did they found him with logs on top of him and it killed him so uh be careful if you're going if you are going to do that get you some good wheel chocks and be sure and ram them up under to help hold them things on there because it's very easy for those logs to uh to roll and move on you if you're not careful but this uh it didn't cost me very much these bolsters uh what it was is two sticks of this tubing then you know, one going across, cut some 45s on there in the bottoms. And man, works uh works really nice. Watch me uh load this load. I'm finna pull these things off, fixing to take all my stuff up to uh Biddy Saw Works and get ready for the big day on Saturday while y'all are watching this video, the uh, open house. So if you're in the area when this video publishes, the open house is gonna start at 10 uh this morning, uh March the 25th, 2023 gonna run from 10 to 2 Blake's gonna have some deals there's gonna be some giveaways all that good stuff so anyhow enjoy the rest of the video we'll catch y'all later later taters
these logs are all very big except for probably two or three of them some of them are a little bit shorter I could put on the front so if somebody don't uh, stay on the video till I get to where I tell you know the weight I'll go ahead and tell it again as far as what what I had on and and all that because I get a lot of questions about that stuff I get some questions that uh, about this stuff that I'm not gonna answer and uh, like what does it pay things such as that um, you know if you want to know something like that I think the best way to ask that is via an email not uh, publicly or anything so when I carried this low when I crossed the scales and weighed in I had a, a right at 14 tons of wood on of wood not gross of wood is what I had on. I had 15 logs on the trailer and almost 14 tons on, of wood on it. So, uh, good load. And again, I'm not going to say what, you know, what, what they pay or anything like that. It, it, the wood is bought and sold by the ton. Uh, you're not going to see in our area, you're not going to see any pine that's going to be graded out by the board foot and sold by the board foot all of it is uh by the ton there are some a few mills here that uh on the hardwood they'll they'll scale it out and it's kind of a toss-up you know depending on what you got and what you're selling as to whether it would work better on a board scale or a tonnage scale and like i said again it there's a lot of variables in, involved there but I, uh, I get this wood, got it all hauled. These, the load, the one that you seen the day before, uh, there was two straight loads that, uh, that went in there this week and, and what have you. So again, like I said in the first part of the video, talking there when I was talking about the bolsters, uh, it's pretty simple on those things. Uh, I'll be doing the, the show the open house at B Saw Works here in Columbus, Mississippi. It's on Highway 69 South right there in town. I'll be there from uh, 10 to 2. Jill will be there with me. We'll be selling, selling t-shirts, going to do some saw demonstrations and talk about a bunch of different stuff, chainsaws, and this is your opportunity to run a chainsaw. Uh, any of my saws that I've got, uh, the 261, 362, 400, 500, and 661, and then Blake, I have a couple of saws sitting out there too. So uh, come on out if you're in there. There's going to be several good ways to do. And it'll be a good time. So enjoy the video. We'll catch y'all later. Later, taters.
All right, so we're gonna strap her down and carry on to the mill. Get it unloaded. So there's 15 logs that are on there. Almost 14 tons of wood. So uh, a couple of them that are on there that you see me load, we're going to see how the Kubota does picking them up, the, his tractor. They're going to they're gonna tax it uh, pretty good. Well, it's, like I said, I'll film it and see. I actually unloaded all of them that I've loaded, the two loads um, with my tractor. And uh, the John Deere loader is a... Uh, it's it's a lot meaner loader than that uh, Kubota is over there. I mean, it's uh, it's very impressive how well the 5075 with that loader on it will handle those logs, as compared to like the Kubota. Like I said, we're going it's going to be interesting to see when he starts picking them, especially like this one on this side over here in the middle, going up, and then the one on the far side over there on the very bottom. I think the one on the bottom is the biggest one out of the group and we'll see how it, how it does. All right, here we go. His first few won't be too challenging for him. He'll be able to roll up there and get these. I think he said he's fixing to pull that cylinder off that Prentice over there and get it re back. That way you'll have it. So in the past uh, couple of weeks, I've brought quite a few logs in here too. And that entire pile right there, and then the pine that's on the left of that pile, and then that pile he just put in, I brought in here. And he's already sawed some of that middle pile up. So I've brought, uh, I brought quite a few in here. Got them both. There you go. That one was wedged in there. So this stuff is some uh, really good green stuff. You can see this tree grew pretty fast till it got to right there. And then see the rings from here out, how tight they are. So your best lumber, what me and uh, Tyler were just talking about, your best lumber is gonna be in these, in this area here where that's so tight all the way around it. See if we can get them both. Though. So what's on that trailer right there, banded, that's what he saws, is that stuff there for the pallets. So he's got more of it up there too. I do that same thing when I'm unloading sometimes. I'll get them and pry them, man, and they tow it.
why I'm standing over here, boy. That's a toad right there, man. So not all of this will he saw in the pallet. Some of this better stuff like that log right there, he'll take and if somebody needs some porch post or something, he'll save that one for that is what he'll do. That one right there would be uh, pallet wood with all the knots on it like that. Stuck in this other log over here. There you go. Whoop, whoop. There you go. Tilt it on back. There you go. You got it now. Max on the Kubota. That's a log, man. See, he had that fork when he first stuck it. He had that fork right there, hitting on it. He's gonna take that into his secret stash over there because he knows that's a good one. <laughs> He's like a dog with a bone. He's gonna go hide it somewhere. Put it in a special place. That ought to be pretty easy. I just glanced around and realized this one was on the ground on this side. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna build a short set of bolsters that'll go on the front up here. It'd just be like kind of knee bolsters. I just hadn't had time to do it here in the last few weeks. Uh, everything I've had going on. So that other 
log does on the other side is going to weigh a fair bit more than what that one does because it, it just eased up with that one right there for you. Hey, so we're gonna 